Hello and welcome to LDI 2021. As Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, it's not just important for us to understand our connection to country, but we also want to pay respects and acknowledge the countries that we're joining from right across this country. I grew up in Casino on Bunjilung country. I'm a proud Torres Strait Islander woman. I grew up on Turbul and Diagra and Gubby Gubby land. I'm from Kulin from Darwin on uh, Larrakia country. I just want to introduce everyone to Deborah Mailman. How are you? I'm good, thank you for having me. I'm really thrilled and hi everyone. I hope everyone is safe and well. Welcome, I'm going to make myself full screen. I really love what this network can do. I really love what this network does do. We need to lead, we need to be leaders, but leaders in what? So think about that today as you're listening to the sessions. It's really important to always have the fundamentals in place from the very beginning. And by the fundamentals of business, I mean the money and the product. On any given day, anyone could ask me, how much cash do you have in the bank? And I could tell you. You can't stress enough how having a great work ethos will be the underpinning success to your story. Interesting thing, uh, yeah, Redfern, we were a political hot pot and over the years we'd seen some tough times with the police and our community. Today is just about having a conversation between the, you know, the faces that we see on here and they're all on their professional careers at universities, doing paid internships, which career trackers organise through their companies that they support. It's an incredible program. I was the first to go to university in my family found out about career trackers, so that gave me a lot of confidence as well. I'm currently interning at uh, Inside Policy, a wholly Indigenous-owned policy consultants agency. Wow, thanks, Will. That's mm -hmm. very impressive, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, gobsmacked about how impressive that is. I have got Angela in the background because we're both living at career trackers accommodation and we thought it'd be nice to tune in together, <laughs> so there she is. Basic principles were about resilience, were about being unapologetic for your indigeneity. My culture is, is who I am, it's part of my life, my kids, it's all, it's all one. Economic independence is really what we've been about and you'll be you know, interested to know that one of our first investments is into a Career Tracker alumni. Back in 2016, you presented at the Career Trackers Leadership Development Institute as a keynote. You had 10 tips for being your best. So we've got work hard, find your heart, believe, which is something we often hear at the firm and is, I really resonate with. What was the best piece of advice that you've been given, either in your personal or professional life? If you want to succeed in anything, it takes hard work. It's not easy. It's not going to be given to you. Working hard equals success. Understand what your goals are. Set them. But then, at the end of the year, realign those goals. Listen to each other, get to know each other, feel that support and that love that everyone's giving each other. Don't ever limit yourself to what the endless possibilities are. And somebody said to me, you know, once asked me the question, do you think you got lucky? I say, I'm not sure I got lucky, but I think what I had was serendipity and preparedness meeting. Regardless of my having a deep plan or not, I knew I had to do the work. When you're making career decisions, the culture of an organisation that you choose to work for matters. And when you are interviewing and looking for those places that bring out the best in you, explore the organisation's culture and values to make sure it's in alignment with you and, and you can do, you, do your best work. Study smarter, focus better, achieve more. Why get better? Why improve your study skills? How's that going to improve your life? Let's talk about gratitude. Gratitude is really giving thanks, being grateful, thinking about those that have you know, helped us along the way. I think that it is, a, it is a value that is part of a lot of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander culture. It's certainly part of the way that I was raised. We are here today to recognise and celebrate our amazing friend and sister, Gabriella Delaney. She was such a fun person to be around and always made such a positive impact on those around her. Gabby's funny, light-hearted, calm nature could make anyone feel welcome. She was an, an incredibly talented artist 
who loved to share positive and provocative messages through her artwork. It was also really important to recognize her soul, her identity and her values as a person because she personified so many amazing qualities that we should all strive to have in ourselves. I feel as if uh, it's my way of being able to give back to the community and to our future leaders of, a, you know, of Australia. I see career trackers as being the peak body that will enable this whole process. I just believe that we're in a, in a time when we need to look at celebrating some amazing people and Gabby was one of those. Generously from Michael McLeod and Len Lease uh, supporting the scholarship, a $2,500 scholarship to support the work of an intern telling stories through the creative or performing arts as that was a passion of Gabby's and um, it will be for somebody who is passionate about community development and culture. And so where are you, where are you dialing in from today? We're dialing in from Adelaide. You have seen the intern? We're on Thursday Island. What is the name of the popular chicken ship in the Torres Straits? Can I just say, look, I'm not supposed to tell the answers, but it's not Kentucky Island chicken, all right? Tell us a little bit, a bit about Island Rooster. Is it good chicken? What, do they do good stuff? Do they do anything else? Or... No. They make nice pizza. <laughs> <laughs> we had fun. That was the main brief was to have fun. Now what I'd like to do is my final bit is take this opportunity to now celebrate our graduating class of, of 2021. We're here to celebrate the 218 students who are in their final year of studies in 2021. We really want you to celebrate the success that you've achieved, not just in university, but in the program. You guys are on the shoulders of our ancestors, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm living on the shoulders of my ancestors and they're propping us up one step higher every generation. And we've got to really maximise that and do our absolute best to make sure we do. And when we reach the top of our game, what do we do? We give back. Thank you.